Yo guys, Sonic from 112, and um, we just beat Bird Keeper um, Theo. He's got three Pidgeys level 15, a Pidgey level 17, and a Pidgey level 19. Um, I wasn't recording when I was playing, so that's awkward. But, um, yeah. Good job by me, right? Stupid mon. Um, anyway, um, we're gonna come up here and battle Preston the Gentleman with two Growlithe level 18. I'm gonna show, um, this battle and then I'm done, just because I have a little bit that I want to talk about. Then I'll speed up the rest. Um, basically, um, I just want to thank the guy who's producing the speed up music for this, for this episode. It's, um, Gen Coil, or E-Tank, or whatever you want to call him. And he is awesome, and I love his covers, and I messaged him, and he said I could use it. Oh my god, look at Labras, that's so cool. Anyway, um, basically he said that I was free to use it, and I really appreciate it. Um... So while while the speed up's going, I'm gonna put that stuff in the down bar in the um I'll probably put an annotation in the corner linking to you, you guys to his channel. Um, it's really awesome. I love the covers. Um, what else? Oh yeah, he does a lot of Mega Man. He has Mega Man 10 videos up right now, but he's he's done other stuff on his um actual like homepage. And I I really suggest that you guys go check that out because it's really good. And um. I've actually had a couple of the songs stuck in my head. And the one that I'm using today is probably going to be the Sheet Man cover. Just because that one's really, uh, like, that one's my favorite. And, um, it's really, really good. And it's so stuck in my head, it's not even a joke anymore. Um, so yeah, everyone gets a lot of experience here. Gentleman Preston was defeated. I'm actually going to, right now, um, I'll speed it up. But during the speed up, I'm going to be... Give, teaching, um, Lapras, our good HM, um, swim, surf, ugh, swim, that's, that's embarrassing, but, um, anyway, speed it up. Alright, so, thanks to you, tank Counting Cyber Sheep, awesome song, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy it at the end, but I thought I'd just let you guys know what's, um, going on. So first off, last Connie, Meryl level 21, no big deal, took her out with my Flappy, I was trying to train up Flappy here, um, because I would like a level 30 Pokemon before we hit Root, Roots 40 and 41, which is the C Root, for those of you who don't know. So Flappy gets level 27 by the end of this, which is nice. Um, next up we got Sailor Kent. I tried to use my bike there, that was pretty embarrassing. Um, anyway, Sailor Kent with the Krabby level 18 and a Krabby level 20. Um, really no challenge if you're chatting on the same team I am. Because Flappy can take them easily down with the Thundershock. Anyway, down here you get, um, TM34, which is a.k.a. Swagger. Um, pretty sure everyone knows what Swagger is. You raise your opponent's attack and they get confused as a result. That's what happens. Um, anyway, Bird Keeper Dennis, two Sparrows level 18 and a Feral level 20. Um, really, once again, not a problem if you have an Electric Pet. Which is kind of ironic, because, um, this is a Steel Gym. Well, Jasmine is a Steel Gym. And, um, two of her Pokemon are electric types, and then the last one's a ground type, so electricity, not very strong there. Whatever. Um, once again, not very happy with Flappy not being able to take that down in one shot. I've actually decided that I'm going to nickname all my Pokemon after, like, characters in the game. In, like, the anime and stuff. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. Or, you know, I'll come up with fun nicknames myself. Love Dressler Conspore there. I don't, I personally do not like Conspore. Anyway, there you grab a rare candy. I'll probably use those at the end to raise up the last Pokemon for my team. Since it's going to be the lowest level by far. Maybe I'll use it on my Heracross. Who knows? Anyway, there you get an Aether. Um, that's the hole that you want to drop down if you don't want to get hit by a trainer. Anyway, the last two guys are Sailors. Um, Sailor Terrell has a Polyworld level 20. And then the next Sailor in the next room is Ernest the Sailor with a match up level with two match ops level 18. A uh, polyworld level level ugh, level 18. So I'm just gonna um let the music um finish up and um once again thank you we tank.
Okay, guys, um, back to normal speed here. Ooh, there's a pretty girl, but and a Pokemon, but we're gonna ignore that for now. Um, super potion over here. Bam! I hope you guys liked the music. I sure as heck did. Hey, look, it's the three of us. We're getting joined by the thing. Okay, nope. Marriage going on here. Oh wait, I can't stand between them. Darn you, Game Boy Color limitation, or in this case, it's the Game Boy. Um, okay, let's talk to the pretty girl. <sighs> Ooh, that's gonna be challenging. All right, we'll do it, but only for the pretty girl. Hold on. I forgot to show you guys the awesome shortcut. Okay, so, these little black holes here. Bam. 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 I like how he's like a rock. And how he makes everything else move. But he actually doesn't. That's hysterical to me. Alright, anyway. Now that we have spoken to Jasmine, and our trek up the lighthouse was for naught. Except that, when we go back there, the trainers aren't there. Actually, you know something cool? You can get the secret potion. Well, the po yeah, the, that's what you need to cure Ampy. Before you go back, I mean, before you actually climb the lighthouse the first time, and at least in silver. I'm not sure about, like, Pokemon Crystal and stuff. But, um, alright. Um, yeah. Oh, um, just so I'd point this out really fast. Um, over here is where the Battle Frontier is located in Pokemon Crystal, as well as Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, pretty sure we haven't done this part yet. On the sea, the only thing you can count on is your own good self. I'm so proud of my buff bod. Oh wait, we have gotten strength, my bad. Probably in the sea, then listen up, there are whirlpools on the way to Sinewood. Your Pokemon must know a special move to get over the whirlpools. Well, we won't be getting that for a while. Dang. Alright. So, um, yeah, I guess we might as well start, oh, I could show this off. No, we're gonna start the journey, because that will, we'll be back later, for that, for those of you who know, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Alright, let's talk to this girl. Although you can't see it from here, Sinowood is across the sea. Yes, it is. And guess what's awesome? Since the Pokemon are in the water, I don't actually have to do anything. I don't have to, like, make any... Thanks. Oh, also, you can get the sharp beak here only on Mondays from Monica. Um, I'm gonna be coming back here and doing all that on the days of the week stuff. Um, but I just thought I'd tell you the Pokemon that you can wild Pokemon that you can find here are Krabby, Shuckle, Kingler, Krabby, Magikarp, Staryu, Tentacool, and Tentacool. Those are the Pokemon that you can find in the water. Oh, Shuckle you get by Rock Smash. Anyway, um, I have to battle all of these trainers, and that's probably gonna take a good episode. So I think I might be ending this one here, just because this might be this the whole battling all the. God darn it! Okay, you guys can watch this. Um, and there's a tentacle. Anyway, um, yeah, just because um, you know, it's just a pain to deal with all. I mean, I, I think I'm just gonna have one episode of me battling every single trainer on the route, running into whatever wild encounters. It's gonna be all music for ten minutes. That's embarrassing. Um, if that's how long it winds up being. Um, I'm also gonna have to go back and heal. So, um, guys, I guess this is all for this time. Um, sorry about this kind of short episode. I really didn't mean to have such a short one. It's just, um, that's what shit. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, almost got to level 28 to end it off. But, um, yeah, let's get on our bike really fast. I love the bike. Anyway. Um, till next time, guys, um, peace out.